Mike Still for Bison TV here with Bison alumni Keith O'Mare. Keith, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Mike. A tremendous uh, first year post university basketball for you, playing in Norway and also playing on the Nigerian national team. Uh, first of all, let's go through uh, your experience in Norway, how that came to be, and and uh, yeah, just what your experiences were like there. Uh, Norway was a great first year for me, um, not just basketball wise, but uh, as a as a man growing up. So I think I did a. Uh, a lot of great things on the court, but more importantly, I think I, I grew up a lot as a man outside of basketball. In terms of, well, let's broaden on that a little bit. What areas do you feel like you sort of matured as a person? Um, well, I think four years ago, I couldn't have done this. I couldn't have went overseas and been a good professional. But this year, I think it was great. You know, um, being more mature, I was able to focus a lot more, lock in. And I think that reflected on my court and my play. What was the team atmosphere like uh, when you were playing down there? Uh, we, we were good. We all bonded really well. They welcomed me with open arms. Uh, I was in a, fortunate enough to be in a good position where, you know, the coach did some things that would allow me to be in a position to shine and uh, yeah, it all worked out well, I think. What was the experience like just being in Norway in general, culturally? Uh, you know what? It wasn't like a huge culture shock for me. Um, in terms of like the landscape wise, it was like a mix of BC and, and Calgary, I would say. The, everyone spoke English, more or less. There's only a few situations where I ran into where I didn't speak English, and that was a little little confusing. But besides that, it was a, it was an easy adjustment. Let's talk about uh, playing on the national team in Nigeria. How, first of all, how did that come about? Uh, that's that's one of those like small world uh, stories. Um, my coach in Norway actually coached the Nigerian national Afro basket team in 2015. So he was the one who kind of influenced me to put my name in that market. And uh, he put me in contact with the right people. I sent my stuff over to them and kind of snowball effect. Next thing I knew, I was in Nigeria for the national team trout and uh, yeah, it worked out. Describe the trout experience and just sort of how that went for you. Uh, it was different. That was kind of the first scenario I was in on the basketball court where I wasn't one of the tallest players. That was that was a change for me. I was the second shortest guy on the team, playing with guys that were, you know, played in the NBA and have had a great pro career. So uh, it was a, a learning experience for sure, but it was great to kind of submerse myself in that kind of level of play and, and compete with those guys. Well, you're now standing in front of someone shorter than you once more, so uh, you feel good about that that aspect. Um, now that you're sort of back in the city, what are your your goals for this season? Obviously, hopefully to, to sign another contract. I yeah, think. yeah, I plan on signing. Um, you know, there's still a month and a half almost to the season start, so I'm not worried or anxious or anything just yet. I just gotta take care of my end and make sure you know I find myself in the right fit again, so I can uh, succeed on the court as well this year. Thank you so very much for your time, Keith. Thank you very much.